The Dallas Police Association is questioning the timing and severity of police brutality charges stemming from the violence during protests in the summer of 2020. Hello, everybody. I'm Heather Hayes. And I'm Steve Eager. It's 9 o'clock with early voting in the primary election for DA starting on Monday. The police union says new charges against a current and former officer are politically motivated. That, as, a court, as court documents filed by the DA, reveal new details about the incidents when protests turned to riots in Dallas. Fox News' Blake Hansen has more tonight. Blake. As Stephen Heather, those court documents released today outline the DA's case against those officers. It is built on body camera footage, witness and victim interviews, but an association representing police believes it is not justice. New court documents shed light on the Dallas District Attorney's case against two officers charged for actions against protesters in May 2020. The allegations all involve incidents that occurred early and late in the night of May 30th. Fox 4 captured this video near City Hall minutes before the first incident occurred just blocks away. The DA's office says SWAT officers had just arrived when an unknown white male threw a water bottle at officers. That's when Officer Ryan Mabry's 40 millimeter launcher struck Brandon Sines in the left eye. The launcher shoots foam projectiles. Attorney Darrell Washington is representing Sines as well as Vincent Doyle, also named a victim in documents charging the officers. Brandon was having a really bad moment uh, a couple of days ago. Uh, he was looking at pictures of himself prior to the incident. And it was just very difficult because Brandon was a, a, a nice looking gentleman and, and to have this type of disfigurement uh, to his face. It has been mentally challenging for him. Another one of the incidents described in court records happened after 10 o'clock that night near the corner of Elm and Lamar. The DA's office says an officer's body camera shows that victim complying with an order by backing away. The footage then shows Mabry shoot one round from a 40 millimeter launcher, which went through his cardboard sign and struck his right bicep. Approximately 11 seconds later, the sound of another shot is heard striking the same victim. A detective identified the officer who fired that shot as former senior corporal Melvin Williams. Court records say the victim was struck in the groin requiring surgery. There were people from all walks of life that who were out there protesting. Uh, these were not bad people. These were individuals who were exercising their First Amendment right. And throughout those shifts, they were being pelted with rocks, bricks, and frozen water bottles. That is not a peaceful protest. In its first public comment since the filing of charges Wednesday, the Dallas Police Association Thursday called the DA's actions politically motivated. DA John Crusoe is running for re-election. The level of charges placed against these officers are so overreaching and obviously politically motivated and timed for the upcoming primary that we must bring this to the attention of the public. The association pointed to similar scrutiny on officers in Austin. The Travis County Grand Jury is currently reviewing the actions of 18 officers during protests in 2020. May 30th, 2020 was the second day in a row that included violence and destruction in Dallas. The following day, a curfew took effect that lasted six days. DPS and National Guard members were brought in to help law enforcement. The association says charges, including first degree felonies, are far too extreme against its officers. Do I think they overstepped in charging them at all? I can't say that because you're right. I haven't seen all the facts and evidence, but I will say this, charge them appropriately. That's what myself and my fellow board members are up here saying. DPA president Mike Mata admits officers may not have always acted professionally. For example, body camera reportedly captured Williams saying, did you see that expletive? Did you see who hit him in the expletive face? Was there some unprofessional comments being made? Yeah, there was. And should they face some type of discipline? Absolutely, they should. But that does not rise to the level of sending somebody to prison for 20 years. I'm sorry, it doesn't. Mabry and Williams are both facing charges, including aggravated assault with a deadly weapon by a public servant, as well as official oppression.